So this is our fourth community play production. We began in 2006 with a play called Somme Theatre, which was about looking at war, and it commemorated the Battle of the Somme. The winner of the Best Heritage Project is the Somme Theatre. And it won a national award, and that really gave us the template for doing this sort of work. Our idea and our format, if you like, is that we do very, very specifically uh, targeted productions for everyone in the community. It's open to everyone, and I think that that's quite a, a sort of special thing. We followed some theatre with a play called Branded by Simon Bent, which was on the Old Vic Theatre, which was about conscious consumerism. Really, it's about kind of getting a, a topic that appeals to the community as well, something that, that does spark a bit of debate that people can feel passionate about. After um, Branded, we went on to Platform, and Platform was perhaps our most successful and ambitious project. That was in um, a series of tunnels, and it was about being a Londoner. So I thought, why not? I came, loads of people. I thought, Rah, this audition's got to be immense. So, you know, I thought, yeah, I want to be part of this. We now found ourselves in um, 2012 doing our fourth production with the very same aims as when we began six years ago, which is about finding something that's interesting to a very varied group of people. As we're going along, you think, oh my God, I don't quite know what the tune's meant to be. It doesn't matter. Just sing confidently, do it loud, do it proud, and that's what we're looking for. So today we've been holding auditions for our project Epidemic. Uh, we sent out an open call to people all over London really. We went to people in South London, we kind of went, spoke to loads of organisations, we put an advert in the press, we've tried to speak to people on the street, we've spoken to loads of people and we've just invited them here so that we can find out what their skills are and what talents they've got. always look for people who believe in the same ethos of community as um, we do. Uh, we always look for people who are really just going to throw themselves into it. Very, very lovely to see you all here this morning. We're really, really excited to see you. For those of you who don't know, my name's Alex and I'm the director of Epidemic. Uh, the day today is going to be all about getting to know us, us getting to know a bit about you, and you getting to know each other. So it's one of those kind of days. Okay, this is the best one. Show us back. Cheesy oh. wins. One more time, please. <laughs> So today's our first day of Epidemic, it's the meet and greet, we've got everyone together for the first time, it's really exciting and what it uh, makes us realise is what an eclectic bunch of people it is. There's about 130 in total doing backstage work, costume set design as well as acting. My name is Bill Noche, I am obviously not British, I'm an American, living here 12 years from Philadelphia and uh, I'm a music teacher in an international school. I got involved in Platform last year and it was an absolutely fantastic experience. So I auditioned again and here I am. It was the first time coming back to performing after a number of years taking care of my mother with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So it was a way of uh, getting back into my first love, which is acting. I live in Waterloo, so the Old Vic and the Old Vic Tunnels are, are very close and local to me. I heard about the project through Twitter, through a retweet of a retweet of a retweet. Great thing about social networking is you can always find out this stuff. I got involved in the show because um, I saw an advertisement on Ideas Tap and it seemed like a really interesting, exciting project for new voices and people that haven't really been involved with theatre that much. So it's my chance to get involved in props and costume um, in theatre. Um, I originally auditioned um, to be one of the acting, in the acting roles. Um, yeah, I, I got, through, got through a couple of rounds and then, but unfortunately didn't get anything with that. Uh, and I sort of told them at the end of the audition that I played drums and if they needed a drummer that, that I could do that so they just sent me an email saying come down for a, for a jam session and yeah that was it really, that was the band. This is my first thing to do, this is, you know, so having just graduated, um, this is amazing to 
be on this project, to be part of this, um, to be with the old Vic, I mean, it's you've just you've kind of landed. I was interested because our school does workshops with the old Vic, and like, when we go to watch the production, they think it's really good, and it's just like, really well known theatre and that, so I thought it would be a really good experience. Not a lot of London theatres give you the opportunity to kind of get involved in such a big project. As long as I'm acting, I just really like, love doing it, you know, I like to grab that attention of the audience, make them say, oh, what's he going to do next? Uh, the project is all about health. It's called Epidemic. It's about health and well-being. And you will see that when you come to read the script later on or you come to hear the script later on. You will be able to pick out elements of that. Uh, we think it's a really exciting script to look at as well. We started um, really with the initial idea back in 2010. And the, there were two ideas kind of uh, swilling around. One about um, there being a, kind of an epidemic of opinion. Oftentimes we don't necessarily know how we feel about something because we haven't really decided what we feel. Someone else had decided for us. Media and sort of Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. And um, But then in the research we found that people were interested in health as well. Oh, it's massively important, I think, especially what's going on at the moment with all the cuts and, uh, you know, the, the politics and, you know, uh, the issues of the NHS. Um, you know, I, I think the NHS is massively important. So, uh, you know, uh, to bring that to the forefront and, and to discuss healthcare just on a, you know, in a general way is really important. The two topics that really, really just stuck out by a mile um, in every workshop they came up was obesity and mental illness. Those seem to be really um, kind of current. Well, the first thing I thought was, oh my God, this is massive. Um, yeah, it was to create a brand new musical anyway is pretty scary. It's the first time I've ever created a musical myself as a writer. Um, but the, the subject matter is just so huge. To be honest, when it started, I thought it's not going to work. This is, it's going to it's going to turn out to be a silly thing where people like tap dance to you know mental illness or something. And because of the collaboration of the creatives, it's turned out to be remarkably effective. What I wanted to do is make it more almost like a concept album, so that the songs would be able to tell their story with a through thread, but it wouldn't necessarily be a traditional musical with um, maybe recitative sections or aria sections. I really wanted the songs to stand alone. And I also wanted to include as many different genres of music as possible. It's an excellent opportunity to really, really try and hit home some things that really should be probably placed in the mainstream but aren't um, and that's why it's great to be able to do it with a project of this size. We knew we were going to have about 50 people in the cast and personally I wanted to make sure each cast member even if they were in the chorus they had at least a line or they had a character that they could they could get their teeth into. Real people singing from their absolute heart with no real regard for technique or oh am I doing this in you know acceptable way would Simon Cowell approve would Andrew Lloyd Webber give me a job don't care, it's just about the reality of it. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about what the tech rehearsals are all about in a moment, for those of you who don't know. There are lots of tech elements in this show. There's sliding doors, there's buses, there's video projection, there's music, there's a band, there's lighting, there's loads and loads of stuff. There's moving vehicles, there's all sorts, okay? So there's got a lot we've got to get through. We're going to have to work really hard and be really, really disciplined to make it happen. I saw very early on an opportunity to really raise the bar 
with amateur work and particularly community productions and community projects. We are um, a big boy in the industry. We have a great uh, deal of influence and we have a lot of respect for the work that we do on the main stage. And so by taking all of those wonderful elements that we already have and the great contacts that we have and the quality that we know we can deliver, if we switch that to a community production, it means immediately that it goes from something that might be um, understandably not quite the quality that it would been ordinarily and turn it into something with the same production values as anything that goes on the old Vic stage. Great job, well done everybody. absolutely fantastic. I've cried towards the end. I think it really speaks to the community and talks about life in general so people can really um, appreciate and associate with what the Yolvik is trying to do. I'd just say come for the energy, come for the vibrance, just the sheer exhilaration, the performance. The music was really catchy as well. I was there dancing at the end like hey. It's incredible. I've just been in a room for two hours with so much kind of energy and joy and commitment from, from the cast. It's just been absolutely amazing and it's great that we've, we've, we're here. From the first time, you know, speaking to you before, before anything had happened now, we're here. We, we've arrived and, and it's so enjoyable. 
I think I describe epidemic for me as a chance to actually meet some people and um, get together and, and know a bit more about the community that I now belong to. Um, the play itself is important, but I think what goes on behind the play is equally as important. I feel like I've made over 100 new friends. Uh, we're all connected. I know, you know, people from all different types of backgrounds. I think that's what's so nice. It's been amazing. It's. I think it's probably one of the best um, entrees I could have in terms of learning how to do how, how a play happens. It's been really fun, you know, and you learn a lot more than well, you wouldn't learn this stuff like if you were at school, you know, because you're on the job. You you have to do it. It's been a great learning experience to learn about the process of stage management through working with Felix and Charlotte. My health has improved quite a lot. I think people get the sense that we on stage want to be there, we love what we do, we're connected with it and we want to do it well and do it well for us and for them. Theatre as a whole should be a community event, you know, like in the recent years it's become it's become quite, it's got a stigma to it, like a, maybe a middle class sort of um, medium and it's not how it was originally intended, it's not how it's meant to be, it's, it's meant to be for the people, it's meant to be something that everyone can enjoy and that's what we're doing here and uh, hopefully Old Vic New Voices and other companies like that are going to carry on doing this sort of thing for a long time to come. It really was something highly unusual, very special. I don't expect to, to encounter anything like that in my life again. I've been very privileged, I've had uh, a fantastic group of volunteers from the community. I've also been incredibly well supported by a professional team as well. But I've also been blown away by the quality of the people who came forward to join the project off their own back as volunteers and as members of this company. And they have been absolutely incredible. Things that join communities together are being cut. And when you see something like our community productions, you realise that they have a hugely beneficial impact. It's given me a very rich experience to draw from and a way of seeing other people, meeting other people that uh, across, uh, across the usual racial divides, the, the age divides. They are, you know, teachers, they're health workers, they're all sorts of different people and they, they bring a kind of a richness to it, I think. And I think, um, I think they were brilliant. It's It was an amazing project and I've been really fortunate to be involved in some amazing projects in my time but this one absolutely tops them all. Not quite sure where to go from here really. I think that we'll get depressed tomorrow. Now we don't feel it but tomorrow. I think Monday's going to be very sad day. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time on this absolutely wonderful, fantastic, beautiful, love build run, um, have a fantastic act too. Positions please. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> I feel still electric from it, you know, it was so amazing, the last night was absolutely electrifying, that's the best word I can use for it and that's still with me. Elated, amazing, just quite um, incredible and overwhelming and just seeing the amount of people on stage and the reaction is just extraordinary and what's great is that you have these ideas and you hope that they'll come to life but it's only actually when you bring the people together that they really do and I think it's just been the most tremendous success in lots and lots of ways, the quality of the show, the amazing people we've found, the subject matter and the response from the audience so I don't think it could have gone much better really. And after my back on all that I've known And I'm letting go I'm letting it go It started with a whisper It started with a word And it started spreading Till everyone has
I've left them behind But I'm making new ones I don't want to forget There's life in me yet There's life in me